yes guys i'm putting it out there yes um, i'm going to explain fully but not in this video i will explain in a video on my other channel exactly what happened so please just just let's just pretend you can't see it okay let's go Okay, so we're at um, Jerk Hut. Jerk Hut, right? Jerk Hut, yeah. That's what it said on the door. I don't know. Wait, are you sure it's Jerk Hut? I don't know. I'm not, are I'm you not. sure? I should probably go and look at the door. Sorry, we've had. No, no. She's had. No. This is hers. No, I'm holding no, it. This is, that is not. This is mine. Oh, you have two? No. <laughs> She's lying. All this right, is fully her. Look, here we go. Jerk Soul. It's Jerk Soul. These ladies are crazy. I told you I'm the only normal one here. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I wanted to thank you guys for coming out. But what you're eating right now is what we call rock chicken rasta pasta. Jerk chicken rasta pasta. Thank you for coming. The next course that's coming out is a popular staple at Jerk Soul St. Louis, and it's our. Um, Coconut rice and peas mm. topped with curry chicken. So my children's room, my littlest is a bomb site. Like a literal bomb site. I don't normally tidy up their room for them. They have to tidy up themselves. But um, it was my youngest that did this and he's got a box with his toy stuff in it and actually it's, it's just a, a regular cardboard box and the other day he was looking at his so he pulled everything out and when he pulled it out i realized that he'd actually got a lot of junk so sorry i'm eating the sweet i'm sorry so um i don't want the place to stay like this and keep so much junk i don't know how it came upstairs so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm actually gonna sort through it if it was just regular tidying up i'll got him to do himself but because it's actual junk I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff because he just doesn't need it and so I've just got to get it done I've been looking at it I've been looking at this mess out here for three or four days and today's the final show so I'm gonna get it done right now I've just thrown away um, some stuff that he doesn't need like broken toys and stuff like that I've just got rid of it and over here they're kind of like I told them to do a puzzle for me because sorry I'm holding the camera all kinds of weird right okay yeah so I told them to do the, build this puzzle for me because I want to see if we have all the pieces if we have all the pieces then I won't throw it away because my son my youngest has got the bug that I have he likes to do puzzles and I like to do puzzles and so if I have all the pieces and I'll keep it if I don't I'll just chuck it there's no point in keeping a puzzle when you've got like too many pieces missing so that's what they're working on so this one here this this one so I believe the pieces could be downstairs so when I finish downstairs I'll know if the pieces are here or not um, and this is a new puzzle that they're doing so they're working on that at the moment but this is the one that I'm trying to find the pieces to but I feel good I feel like I've accomplished something today sorry about the light but yeah I feel like I've accomplished something today and that just feels really good so their room is tidy so that's one thing to check okay so i just picked up this this big bowl here right to move it out of the way and i've been left with this now this circular thing here tells me that this is contaminated with some type of i don't know termite or something like that so i'm actually going to throw this away i don't know what we're even keeping it for but i'm going to have to clean out here and do something about this because that is not a good look. That is not. 
slightly freaked out by these um, termites. They, they look to be all dead though. They're all just on the floor. Look. Can you see? So they look like they're all dead to me, but um, yeah, I, I think because we've actually sprayed in here, and I reckon the, probably these two smaller ones that we have, I'm going to get rid of those as well. about traveling for probably um how long mm, a, a few weeks maybe about three weeks i've been thinking about it um not because i particularly want to but i feel like i want to go to the uk to look for some of the things that are quite expensive here because if you know anything about ghana you'll know that to get stuff that is standard quality you're going to pay expensive prices for them so i have been considering doing that so i don't know that's kind of where my mind has been for a little while actually thinking should i go back if i go back i'll probably go for not very long <laughs> if i have my way i'll go for like three days do shopping and come back um but probably i'll probably have to do about a week i reckon a week maybe possibly no i don't think i can handle more than that i don't know that place is just like i don't i don't know why i just have no desire to really go there apart from missing a few people I just have nothing to do there. I just, I just want to go and shop, to be honest with you. I want to go, be able to put my hands on items, because it's not the same. If you ask someone else to go and get you stuff, they're not going to get you the right stuff or what you have in your mind, what you envision in your mind. So I feel like I just want to get on a plane, go there, shop, ship everything back myself, and then it's done, and then I know it's done, rather than having to rely on other people to make sure that they've done what you, know, you, you want them to do, because sometimes it's difficult to get your vision across telling somebody else you know you never get things 100 percent. so that's kind of where my mind has been um i i wanted to go quite soon but i probably won't not just yet because um there are a few things that i need to put into place for starters i'm still waiting for my um ghana passport which is delayed um, but they said to me they've assured me that the first of no, excuse, the first week of um march is when the new the new passports will be back because otherwise I hear that I have to apply from the beginning all over again. So I have to go buy another application form. Um, I have to fill it out, get the person to vouch for me all over again, which was a headache the first time around. I really don't want to have to do it a second time around and pay for everything all over again. Where, so when I heard that, I was just so annoyed because I was like, why put someone through that? Why don't you just, if you know the person has already been through the, the, the whole thing, why don't you just allow them to pay the difference and get the 48 page passport if that's what you that's all you have in stock but they're not doing that they say you have to apply from the beginning again and i ain't about to do that because the process was not that easy in the first place and you know i hate these i hate these processes so i don't want to put myself through that twice so i'm still waiting on that so once that comes and once i've been able to do my ghana card which is really important i get that done before the end of march otherwise i'm finished so probably when those things are out of the way then i will think about going but that is what is on my mind right now i really feel like maybe that is the best option to get the quality that i want but without the huge price tag because i feel like it's going to be cheaper getting on a plane and getting all this stuff shipped here than it is to actually just buy it here if it's already here i don't know i don't know what do you guys think do you think i'm probably being a bit extreme because i just can't i can't abide but i mean a lot of you think that oh i'm going for high quality but i'm not actually going for high quality i just want stuff that works and i want stuff that's gonna last i don't like buying things two three times it's just it's a waste it's complete waste so um i'm not gonna be happy if i have to do that so i think because they have con more control in the uk in terms of what is brought into the country and what is sold um i think that could be the way to go so watch out for that you never know i could be going back to the uk soon i haven't been there for years honestly i haven't been back for about uh how long has it been uh, coming up to six years i reckon probably about six years yeah i haven't been back i haven't actually felt the need to go back at all i've just 
I've missed shopping and I've missed some people, but those people also come to Ghana. So apart from a couple of people that don't, but I just have nothing else really there for me that much that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go. You know, I'm not, I'm not like craving McDonald's or anything. I don't really eat that anyway. So I'm not really craving anything that I feel like, oh, I need to, I need to be there for that. So we'll see anyway. Anyway, I'm just chatting. So yeah, that is what is on my mind at the moment. So that's probably going to be the next step that we take in terms of getting anything that's worth getting. So we'll see. Okay guys, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, lots more content to share with you soon. Um, until next time, if you haven't already subscribed, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button for me and the notification bell. And don't forget, like, comment and share this video for me. It will help me out a lot. Until next time, I am out. Nutty Papa. Nutty Papa.